Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Stable Diffusion Web UI. I will be installing in Windows 10. The requirement for running Stable Diffusion in this video, I'll be using it in Windows 10. Uh, it should have 16 gig of RAM, and you should have a NVIDIA GPU, at least uh, 4 gig of VRAM. You need to install Python. Uh, this version is 3.10.6. Once you download it, you should have a file name like this. So install the give you two option. Install now, and it will put you in your user uh, app data, or you can customize your uh, installation. I also uh, add a check that is add Python 3.10 to the path environment. In advanced option, I could customize my install location, and after that, click install. To confirm that the Python installed it, I open a command prompt and type this command line python space dash uppercase v which press enter and give me the Python version that I just installed. Next we need to download git so you can see url that is the, the git address and scroll down you will see a link that says download click on that. After downloaded, here's the git executable. Run the installer, and once done, you should have this uh, page so you complete the git setup wizard. Click finish. To install stable diffusion, open the command prompt, then go to a folder where you want to play stable diffusion, and type git space clone space, and uh, git the uh, address for stable diffusion. Press enter. Once done, go into Stable Diffusion web folder, then to run the uh, Stable Diffusion web UI, and double click on the file that say web UI dash user dot bat, that's for the version of window. It's downloading the dependency and package. Once done, it gives you the uh, web interface, which is uh, HTTP. Uh, slash 127.0.0.1 colon the port is 7860 you enter that in your browse url press enter i'm at stable diffusion web interface and to generate image you need to select a checkpoint which uh, this one here and now right, i'm at the tab called text to image and here i have to uh, enter prompt which is uh, some description of the image i want to generate to and then it's going to generate the image here. I want to generate image of orange, so I'm just going to type the word orange. Click generate. So it did generate an image with some orange color, but I don't want it, so I want a fruit, so I'm going to type fruit. And I could say, uh, you know, in a bowl. So there you go. I have pictures of an orange. And it does have some other fruit that I don't want in the image. So in negative prompt, we can enter uh, item that we don't want in the image. So in this case, uh, great. And let's see. Well, it did generate an orange, and uh, you know I don't have uh, the, and it also have a bowl and no grip. And let's generate more than one image. So in this is a bat size. Uh, so I'm gonna want to have that three pictures and click on generate. So each each generation bat count it generate here. It generate three image. So I did have three images here, you got an orange in the bowl, another picture of an orange, and the third one also in the bowl. So let's say you want to save the image, but the individual I can click here. And from here, I can click on download, 
and you download an image so by click on open image you download one image so I hope this tutorial help for you to install stable diffusion automatic 11111 web UI and just get started uh, generate some image from text to image if you like this video click a like subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and see you next video bye